Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna just be showing you guys how to do sky replacement with thumbnail. So let's just straight into it. First thing you want to do is right click and you just want to copy your image. Then you want to go over to Photoshop, go to File, then you want to go to New, and you can just hit uh, 1280 by 720. You can copy the settings I got. Then you can hit Control V. Now to do this, it's like two or three ways to actually do sky replacement, but these are two ways I know how to do. And what you can do is you can select and then go to sky and this is not the, like the way i would tell you guys to do but this is how i do it and then you can hit Control j so after you hit Control j i just go to google and type in sky image and i'm gonna show you guys the second way to do it also i'm probably not gonna cut nothing out of this video so after you get your image you just want to click on it all right once it's done loading up you can hit right click and then copy image on that image then you can go to photoshop again hit Control v and then you can create a clipping mask now, like I said, this is another way to do a uh, sky replacement. I'm going to show you guys another way also. So, another way to do it simply, you just want to go over to um, edit and then sky replacement. Once you pick this, this like the better way to do it. And they give you options and stuff on how to choose it. And I don't know what version of Photoshop you have to have to do this, but this is another way to do it. So, if I just want to switch what sky I want to have back there, I can just simply do like this right here. You can shift it, do all this type of stuff. And what you would do is you just put this on top like so. And you can actually move the layer around. So that's the way to do sky replacement on Photoshop. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. And yeah, man, peace out.